Hello everyone, today a rather quick video, just one simple topic about streaming music as a DJ from the web to your players to the crowd. Does it actually work in practice? So first of all, I, I went through all of the medias. I started with vinyl, CDs, USB sticks, and now all of a sudden we got rid of any kind of media. It's like just streamed right into the players. I tested it out a couple of weeks ago with a crowd right here. I um, had no issues, like no technical issues. Of course, you have to have an internet connection to the players. Right here, the Denon players have Wi-Fi built in. So you just connect them to your Wi-Fi network and can then access the streaming services that are available. For example, right here on the player, I go to source, then I can switch from Beatport link, that's what I'm using, to SoundCloud or Tidal, or of course your USB sticks. Just hit here, and then you can browse through artists, labels, you can search for someone. I could go into the top 100 tracks on Beatport, go maybe to dance, electro pop, and then you got here the entire top 100, top one, James Hype, David Guetta on three. The updating takes like four or five seconds, and then you got the entire top 100 right in here. And whenever you want to stream one of these songs, you just click here or push, then downloading the song, this is even faster. That's now the entire song. It's now being analyzed by the Denon player. And you're ready to go. You got the BPM, you got the key, everything is set up. And then it's basically the same as just having a USB stick in the back. If you lose the Wi-Fi connection, the one song you preloaded stays in memory. So you're safe. I personally would still always bring a USB stick with me just in case you lose the connection. And as far as I can tell while testing it in front of a crowd playing all night long, no issues. It didn't, like nothing happened. It, it just worked seamlessly. There was still, and that's my biggest but so far, like in the back of my head, it was like, oh my God, maybe it fails. Maybe something goes wrong. I was expecting it to fail, but it didn't. So it's more like a trust issue that I will have to build up over time. Um, but it's it's ready, it's functional. You could even play a huge festival with thousands of people. I doubt that the top superstar DJs will use streaming because their sets are usually in advance, um, pre-done, at least a playlist. So it makes more sense for the half hour, hour slot they have to just have the songs in order, in their players, playing Tomorrowland, main stage is too important. You play your own songs, you showcase new songs that aren't released, you play your best DJ buddies, friends' songs, so streaming there doesn't make a whole lot of sense. But for the typical club DJ, for the wedding DJ, for every hobby DJ at home, it's good to go. I personally, out of the three services that are like working on these players, actually four, because there is Beatport Link and Beatport Source. I personally use Beatport Link. Um, and the highest tier, I think it's like 30 bucks per month, but there are also lower tiers. And of course, in advance, you can, on your computer, on your phone and an app with Beatport Link, you can prepare your playlist, drag songs in there, have them right on your player so you don't have to do it here. It's a little fiddly. Like you can do it in advance, just go into your account with, with the player and everything is there as you expect. So is this the future? Is it reliable enough? Is it in practice usable right now? I think yes, 100%. I did it one night, no issues. It's just like me thinking there could be issues. So I'll probably for the next 10 years always will have a USB stick with me, but for a wedding, you have requests, someone wants a special song that you know but don't have with you, you can search for it, play it, very flexible. Also that night where I DJed, I had some old songs um, that, that I just thought might fit and I could instantly look them up, search them and just play them. So yeah, all in all good news. If you want to check out the, the Beatport stuff that I'm using to stream it, I'll link it down below. And let me know if you think this is the future. Are you already as a DJ using streamed songs or are you still afraid of using it?
thanks for watching. See you again in the next video. If you want to know more about the club, the lights, and see it in full action, again, it's really, I'm really proud of this place. I'll link down below the other video where I built this entire place.